Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we are doing the range test in the brand new model year 2024 Volvo C40 with the upgraded and bigger battery pack, upgraded and more efficient electric motors with a lot more range according to the WLTP. So I'm super excited to find out how much more range we will be able to eke out of this car in today's range test. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna come back to these chargers and test how close we will be able to get to that new peak charging speed of 200. 100 kilowatts and then at the absolute end of the video we're going to put this car into the chart and see how much it has improved compared to the old model the pre you know model year 2024 2023 and older i'm super excited to see how much it has improved and how high this can climb on the list i have high expectations for this car because when i was in germany a few weeks ago i tested the updated and upgraded polestar 2 that gets the same electric motors same battery pack and that car had a huge Huge, huge improvement in range and efficiency and also guys I'm gonna do all of my typical testing we're gonna do a charging test long trip test and a whole bunch of other videos here on the channel so you don't want to miss out on that please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and also I want to do a huge and large epic road trip and if this video and the C40 videos gets a lot of views and a lot of likes and also a lot of comments. I know this is a car you guys may want me to take on a long trip. Maybe I want to go to Africa from Oslo. Maybe I want to go to Turkey from Norway. Maybe I want to go across the UK. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see any of that. So we're almost at 100%. We're at 96% state of charge now. I think we're going to disconnect and then I'll see you guys on the road. It's a pretty nice day to do a range test. Conditions are pretty darn nice. 17 degrees Celsius, sunny skies, a little bit of clouds and dry roads. And according to the windsock here, very calm winds. But according to the wind map, we have a push in the northward direction of about four to five meters per second. But looking over my shoulder here at the Mjösa Lake, it looks kind of calm. So I don't actually think it's too bad outside. Consumption 21.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That is why I'm hoping we don't have a push or if we do, it's just a slight push because if we have a push, we're gonna have lower consumption than when we're gonna go on our way back. But 21.8, 21.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So far, that is pretty good. And I have to say that is an improvement over the pre, well, not facelifted car. This hasn't been facelifted this, uh, C40 because this is completely unchanged on the exterior but pre 2024 model year and I have to say driving this car again the Volvo C40 this is one of my absolute favorite electric cars this and the Polestar 2 and I don't know I'm like switching back and forth because this car with the 20 inch wheels and this new vapor gray uh, exterior paint color and that you know coupe SUV shape I think it looks freaking awesome. I think it looks freaking awesome. One of the best looking electric cars on the market, bar none. Yeah. And as I was saying in the intro, I want to do an epic road trip. So I'm going to link the video in the description box down below where I'm talking about taking this car on an epic European road trip. So you want to, you know, know more about that in detail, go to the description box down below and click on that link. But yeah, pretty nice weather, pretty nice conditions. But it's turning into fall now. It is turning into fall. So in a few weeks now, we're going to see these leaves that are green and yellow now turn to red and, yeah, start to fall off the trees. But still, we're going to enjoy this late September day doing this range test, range test. So we have about 100 kilometers left northward. Once we get there, I'll catch up with you guys. We are now approaching our halfway point, our turnaround point here at Muel, where the four lane motorway for now And So we're gonna do an exit here and then we're gonna go under the motorway and then we're gonna head back towards where we started, back towards Oslo. So what's interesting is to take a look at the consumption, 21.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That is pretty low for this type of car, for this car. That is slow, but the big question is, is it because the car is a lot more efficient than before? Is it because of the conditions? Or is it because we do have a tailwind? But looking out the window here, I mean, just look how calm all the trees and plants are. Not a lot of wind, 
not a lot of wind. 21.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That is very, very promising, guys. So we're gonna do a left turn in the roundabout, go around here, and then we're gonna enter on the on route, southbound on the E6 motorway, and then we're gonna go another 105, 108 kilometers, and I'll see you guys. For me, it's gonna be an hour. For you, it's just gonna be a few seconds. <laughs> We are now right before our exit back here at Esso in Gardamon and I've not navigated to the actual charger here, only to the gas station where we started because in this test, we do the charging test where we connect, you know, after going on this trip without active battery preheating or preconditioning. And the, the reason we do that is because we want to test what you get just, you know, driving and then connecting to a charger after a few hours on the road. But I'm going to do, you know, a proper a test of the, the charging of this both in the long trip test and also a separate charging test so we're going to go to these recharge chargers over here um, which are 225 kilowatts there is one vacant right there so before we do that 23.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers 23.1 i think that is an improvement i think that is actually a very decent improvement and we're gonna back up to this one, uh, this charger here. Check a look at the 360 camera and we have a charging port on the driver's side of the car. Okay, so we're now connected to the charger here and while the car is initializing and the charging is ramping up, I just wanna give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor which is actually Recharge where we are charging at now. This is a pretty awesome location. They have four of these Alpatronic hyperchargers, which have two connectors each. So two of them are 225 kilowatts and the other two are 150. And then they have eight chem power charters over there right next to the Esso station. So on this location, you can charge eight cars in total. So it looks like we're now connected and let's take a look at the actual speed. So since we are at 36%, we connected at 35%, we're probably not gonna get that 200 kilowatts of peak charging speed. That's probably further down low in the battery percentage, but still 136 kilowatts at 37% with no preconditioning, just letting the car do its thing. I don't think that is too bad at all. So I wanna get that more detailed screen and then if I just you know beep my, my charging here, my charging chip there, my RFID card, you can see that. We're getting a little more than 400 kilowatts, 400, no, 400 volts, 420 volts almost, 330 amps. So this is pretty decent, this is pretty decent. So that means if you get 400 amps, you're gonna get you know more decent charging speed and that 200 kilowatts is at 500 amps for a little shorter time period. So again, a huge thanks to Recharge for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna support the channel, go to the link down below and find out where your closest Recharge charger is. Before we end today's video, let's take a look at the battery pack size, the consumption, and then calculate theoretical range. So this Mollier 2024 Volvo C40 has a usable battery capacity of 78 kilowatt hours. We take that number divided by the consumption, 23.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, and then subtract 3% in heat loss. We get a theoretical range under today's conditions of 328 kilometers. To be honest, that is a very nice improvement and a nice upgrade. It's about 42 kilometers more than a test we did a little more than a year ago in a C40 Mollier 2023. It was a little bit colder that day between 12 and 14 degrees Celsius. Today it was between 16 and 17 degrees Celsius, but I think the results are still very, very comparable. The consumption also more than two kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers lower. So no, no doubt in my mind that the bigger battery pack, the better efficiency gives this car more real world range and faster charging. Also, when we connected to the charger with that car, we got lower speeds than now. So this car is going to go longer. It's going to be more efficient and you're going to charge faster. You're going to be on the way a lot quicker. And I think this is a very, very nice improvement compared to the Hyundai Ioniq 5, for example, the old car did better. And I think this car is now more comparable to the Kia EV6, which is a more efficient shape than that Ioniq 5. So I think this is a very, very nice and welcome 
upgrade to an awesome car already. Maybe what this car was lacking was a little bit better efficiency and a little bit more range and faster charging and now it has it. So I think this makes this car even more attractive as a purchase and even an even better electric car. So guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys soon and goodbye.